This one has that special feel. In fact, about 80% of the folks in a packed house on their feet right now just awaiting the center jump. I'll tell you, all the scalpers were out outside, as you said, a tough ticket to really get. They were asking me for tickets. I couldn't get any bread. <laughs> Williams and Knight really peaking out of confidence. Iverson had a look, and now it's stolen away by Sheffer. Their own Sheffer takes it himself for the first basket of the ball game. Rochelle running it up quickly. Othella on the other end. Oh. Othella showing it. Cross court. Johnson had a look. Allen creates his own one-hander and got it. I'll tell you one thing, he's aggressive tonight. That's the real Ray Allen. And he said, they didn't run any more of me than we have to run at Iverson. <laughs> Look at the way he handles that rock. Oh, he got hit. He got hit. No call. He got hit. Williams got to get it away. The shot clock was winding down, and Jerome Williams off glass ties it at four. Williams did a great job with that lead, Dad. Sheffer weaves and delivers tonight. Oh, Travis Knight, TK down the lane. Sheffer with the great look. Two-man game. Iverson, the dish on the baseline. Underneath, Knight got a piece of that. Cleared out of there by Kirk Kane. Oh, what a great look. Johnson. What a great look. Oh, that is super basketball. Transition basketball. Look at the intensity. The Ron Shepard is a timeout, baby. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, wow. What a great look, Brad. What a great look. Watch this pass. That's not an easy pass. There it is. Right from his hip. Let's it fly right on the button. There's the catch and the jam. Up, up, and away. Couldn't have been more perfectly timed. Uh, couldn't have been a better lead. And here's a dish inside tonight also. I tell you, Sheffers made some outstanding passes. Great looks. Really a little bit patience. Boys taking the extra pass. Page was so hot last night. Got the roll and a chance for a three-point play. And that was cool to the class. Travis Knight brings it up, gets it to Kirk King, baseline. I'll tell you, that's another way to attack it. At guard for UConn. Ray Allen going to try to take Nichols' baseline, has to kick it back to the line. And Knight. Nice pass by Allen. Knight having a solid start. Iverson making the game a half-court game for him. Nichols a good outside shooter. Yes, sir. Ricky Woods got to work on his shot a little more to become a better threat. Iverson worked his foul line with his driving ability. All the way goes to over. The tip by White. Didn't go up strong. He's got to really attack the basket if he makes a decision to go to the goal. Ray Allen came up with a loose ball rebound. His jumper come to Bristol, baby. And get ready for the show. Don't have to hear that term anymore. Who's in the bubble? Who's on the bubble? Who's in? Who's out? Oh, what a pass from Allen to King. For Georgetown. Trying White. to take away transition opportunity. White squares up against Hayward. And a little half hook. Got the roll. Jump shot yet tonight. His only field goal is down to the What is the drive to the basket? He should use the speed more. To get the jump shot and attack the defense. There's the long jump. Takes that hook. With five points on the game. Guarded by Victor Page. Crossover dribble for the open three. What a great, great change of direction. Like we said last night, anything you can do, Allen, I can do better. Iverson got a pick from Harrington, kicks it out to Tuomu, and he buried a three. First down, edges back in front by one. Almost the midway point of the first half for Madison Square Garden. Oh, Ricky Moore. Ricky Moore, baby. He's got the goal, too. He wants to be like Mr. Jones, the fighter. Ricky Moore very quick to the basket. Othella Harrington, strong move. Better the defense. Yeah, overnight. Knight got a piece of it, clears it off. Oh, great outlet. Down. Oh, what a pass. Johnson, it's blocked by Ja, but picked up by King. King really hustling, following, but what a pass by Ray Allen. Oh, look at that look. Oh, we got all kinds of plays. What a tremendous look. Look at Ray Allen. Look at Iverson swiping at the ball. Big East Defensive Player of the Year working against the MVP of the league. And oh, oh, that goes down. Oh, that's Hail Mary time. He's the U2 man. He's the U2 man. He's unbelievable. He's unstoppable. If that was uh, Hail Mary, it was full of grace. Watch this one. Oh, look at him now. He's going to spin at Iverson. He's saying, Iverson, you're the defensive player of the year, but you're too small to check me, baby. There he is, wheeling, whirling. Look at Iverson. He said, I'm going to get some help. Somebody step out. It was a tremendous performance by Marbury. 25 points and no assist. Jerome. Just the jumper, and our fella keeps it alive. Page for three. Yes. Nice play, Victor. Ray Allen for the three on the other end. 
Oh, nice with rebound. a strong rebound, but rejected by Harrington. And a battle underneath, no call. Ball comes out to Haywood. Oh, what a nice pass. What a nice pass by Haywood. Perfect pass. If he throws the air ball pass, they deflect it. He uses the bounce pass inside. Double rebound night. Oh, shoot it. Shoot it. And bury it. Shoot it. He can make that shot. He's warm up before the game. I don't blame him. <laughs> he must have hit 12 in a row from three-point range. Look at that page. He stepped off, and he controlled himself and took good shots. Allen, straight up, got a good look. Somebody got a hand in his face, and it's tip. My job, and I find that tough to comprehend when you're 17-1 and in your league. Yohani White drew a guess that they had that many points in transition in the first two minutes of the regular season game in Lando. And that roll, good jumper. If he can get one over Ricky Moore, he's thinking about it. Spins against Sheffer and fades. Not the best of shots, but it's tipped in by Jerome Williams. He's really a leader. He's into the game, and he's on the sideline. Oh, out of control right there, Moore. There goes the transition. There goes the quickness. To Olu for the lead for Georgetown. Double figures for UConn. And Georgetown has five players with six points or more. Nice dribble down and leaves it to King. He's one of the better passing big people. Steal by Al. Here we Al. Good defensive player, but a good defensive player. For a while for UConn. Page for three. Rebound Ricky Moore way up there. Right there to have the angle to make off. What a nice pass. What a great look by Ricky Moore. Great catch. Great look. It's a nice down court. Oh, kind of like Charlie Ward's passing at Florida State. He gets throw the length of the floor right on the money. Page off the glass. There's that half-court trap. Williams at the point of it. Oh, nice play by Moore to come back to the basketball. Gave up a 15-footer for that. A little hang time. The diaper dandy from out of Georgia. Shadow out Georgia in high school. Lob underneath. Iverson saved it. Othello with a hook. Out to the basket. He, he, hit, his... he hit 10 straight points at one juncture last night in the second half. There's the three that goes for more. Gonna do a one-four set. A little and penetrate. Stripped it from Victor Page, but it comes free underneath to Jerome Williams. Nine minutes, the last 15 minutes, it's been a struggle. Page for three. Got it. 14 years, winning 20 games or more, and did a phenomenal job this year with a team that can have great, great personnel. Just over 12 minutes left in the Big East Championship at Madison Square Garden. Ricky Moore adjusted in midair, got the roll, and a chance for three. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. He has stepped his game up. He's not intimidated. He is absolutely playing outstanding and keeping Connecticut hanging in the game. And the foul on Iverson is his fourth. Oh, there it is now. Listen, change the direction. Now he gets him up in the air. There's Allen. Allen from the rear. Didn't see much contact there. Allen Iverson's going to have to come out for Georgetown. You're going to see him. Got him with the body, and that's his fourth foul. He heads to the bench in two. Led by as many as seven. Page pulls up for three, and Ricky Moore the rebound. Connecticut's going to win this game. shepherd has got to make some open threes. Moore off the glass. No foul call, and he's got the last ten straight for the Huskies. I'll tell you, Ricky Moore from out of Augusta, Georgia, Westside High School. What a performance he's putting on. Out of Augusta and playing like a master. Inside, Jerome Williams, another rebound. Here's two over on the break. Nobody rotates back. And he's way out at the point of the half-court trap. Page spins inside. I'll tell you, a great move by Victor Page. He went right through that Zone. Williams baseline kicks back out to Page for three. Got it. What great execution. Second shots if you have the first one with White, Arrington, and Williams on the glass. Only six field goals in the second half for UConn. I'll tell you, that guy's got four of them. Now he's got five of them. He has become a star tonight. He has really grown up. Ricky Moore said, hey, you big guys, you experienced players, I'm backing away, but I'm not going to back away. Look at the little guy attacking. I mean, he's doing it with a great deal of confidence. Great balance to convert that shot. The Dick. freshman. This is where they've grown up as a team. They have become so much more disciplined and patient in their half-court game on the opposite side. Ten on the shot clock, now down to the eight as Othello Harrington goes strong and got the roll. He's a good Iverson. Shepard up here. Well, Thompson just gave him the four fingers down low, and that's what they ran last night in Jahani White. Four pass to Ricky Moore, the only guy who has scored this game in the second half for UConn, and I 13. From Connecticut here, back court. 
There's the three-pointer, and it doesn't go for Allen, but tipped in by King. King with the good offensive rebound. Ray Allen has just decided I'm going to this offense. Here's that one for Kirk King and Ricky Moore, the reason that the Huskies are only trailing by a handful. A 2.20 now left in the ball game, 10 on the shot clock. Here's John Thompson has decided we can use the shot clock. We can simply go to isolation. Iverson it rolled out on him. Battle for the rebound, one by Allen. The car had some trouble and lost the handle. Allen comes up with it. Got a free at the opening. Sheffler's open. Sheffler's going to spot up. They're going to run him for a three. Look at Al playing Allen. Dribble's high. Dribble's the ball very high offensively. I mean, I want you to understand. I love Ray Allen. I've seen his talent. This is the second time we've seen him struggle against Georgetown this year, though. Sheffler leaned in, drew a foul from Jerome Williams. Well, he created the foul opportunity. Up. Great to serve Georgetown. Really denying him the basketball, but he's on it. Let's see if they go back to the 1 4 set again. Yes, he's going to go exclusive with that man to the end of the day. There they are. Nothing complex. 1 4, dribble down the clock. And then a little schoolyard. 1 on 1, baby. Well, it's while this second half was not as pretty as the first half, it's a three point game with 1.20 to go. We couldn't ask for anything more. And all it is right now, partner, it's me against you. You try to stop me with my quickness. Iverson. Rattle off the back of the iron. Ricky Moore the rebound. Ricky Ricky Moore. can cut it to one or tie with a three. Ricky Moore's had a big night. Moore! Oh, my care! Get it to you, baby, John! Get it to you! Kirk King with 20. I think Kirk King's been a monster on the glass. He and Ricky Moore have really stepped up. Timeout, Hoyas. And as it, oh, the place is rocking. The garden's rocking. A 10-0 run by the Huskies, and eight straight by Kirk King. There's Kirk King up on the glass. The great follow. Nobody blocks out. There's Ricky Moore taking it to the goal. This little guy has played. And there's Mr. King showing the great legs. And there's the bench. Jubilation City for the, oh, the Huskies really back in the game. Kirk King had a stretch earlier this season where he hit 22 straight field goals. He hasn't shot quite that well tonight, but this is a huge game. 20 points, and he cuts the Georgetown lead to a single digit. 22, what, a, what an unbelievable run that was when he had those 22 in a row. And going cold from the field, it's not their night anymore. It belongs in the hands of the Victor Pages and the Ricky Moores, a couple of freshmen, and Kirk King, who's come on like gangbusters, the junior, who has 20 points. 38.1 seconds left. Georgetown leads by one, but... UConn has the basketball. I never saw Ricky Moore play like he did tonight. He came like a guy possessed. He's level of ability. I've heard so many great things about him being a finalizer, a guy that could finish the play in transition. And today, he has really stepped up and has put Connecticut in a position for a chance to win. Gets it in the backcourt, and he'll bring it up. The shot clock and game clock, it's about a 10-second difference. They're going to a 1-4 set. They're going to go to the Georgetown set. Uh-oh. A little bit of their own medicine, huh? They're going to go to the Georgetown set. Remember, Georgetown will get the ball back. Now he's looking to dribble and penetrate and possibly kick it out. Ten on the shot clock. He's going to try to kick it out. A little handoff. Allen with Iverson on and throws one up. It goes! Oh! Oh, Ballins! Unbelievable! Georgetown can win if they score. Iverson with seven, with six. Spades missed it. William rebound. He missed it as well. You can't survive! Oh, Connecticut wins their first Big East Championship, this group of people! Look at the celebration! One field goal for Ray Allen in the second half of this game, and it has won it. Not only one field goal, but a little balance, a bad shot, and he hits the rock. John Thompson's club, what a gutty group of kids, fought, scrap, but what a performance by Ricky Moore to put him in a position, and then the superstar with an all balance jump shot gets a little bit of a roll finally after Struggle City. Well, if Ray Allen is the MVP of this tournament,
tournament. I think he should give part of it to Ricky Moore and part to Kirk King. But he gets the winning bucket on this shot. Take a look at this. There he is, hanging, twisted. He throws it. He was looking really to pass that basketball, but he was caught up in the air. And then Allen Iverson had a chance to win it. He had a chance to put it down. There's the fadeaway, Jay. They've been falling all week long, but that time it bricks it. And look at Jerome Williams climbing the glass. And there it is. It rolls, rolls, and rolls away. What a super finish. And for Jim Calhoun. He gets his title, baby. He gets his title with this group. They get their title. Dance, Jimmy, baby. Dance, Jimmy, baby. His seniors four-year record now 102 wins and only 25 losses, but none sweeter for them. Daron Sheffer and Travis Knight and Rudy Johnson, those seniors, than this one tonight. And a junior named Allen had missed 14 in a row, forced one that goes for the win. I'll tell you, after making that one, he'll forget about the 14 he missed. <laughs> wow! Big wow. East championship goes to the Huskies 75-74 for Dick Vitale and our entire ESPN crew. Brad Nessler, thanks for being with us.